Hey everyone, Fend here. I am on a special tangential mission. Apparently, something was supposed to happen at the end of this here mission, uh, and it didn't happen, thus causing there to be a lot of holy water for no reason. I am going to attempt to play this through listening to all the conversations now that I know what to do. I won't make you watch them again, but I will be pointing out the different steps, and we'll both go quickly to the end of the mission together and see if the event that is supposed to happen is going to happen. Are you ready? Then let's begin. <laughs> Here begins the first conversation. Here's the second. And that's the end of that one. Me ahead of time, more or less. There's that one. Here's the apartment. Here's a place that I didn't notice before. Might be able to get down to the ice and grab this little chest that I noticed was here at some point. Yes, here it is. It's got equipment that might actually be useful if the thing that I'm hoping happens actually happens. Yeah, speed, water, well, you know, speed water is pretty good. And now this famous convo Now that's begins. what I call it. Right? Well, there's that one fully listened to, like a friggin' boss. I guess I'll quickly see if there's a potion around here. Is this right up here? Yes, it really is. There's a bit after this conversation that I never yes, heard really before. True. I heard it direct first. I've got some serious drinking to do. Come on, Garrett. So somebody finally poisoned my old friend, Master Slust. That's one less nutcase I'll have to deal with. Yes, my friend, it is true. Speaking of nutcases, Solustus is dead. And the one who poisons him has also poisoned you. You don't need to shadow me, Caleb. You must seek this knowledge, Garrett, for it will be important to know who has poisoned you. And I don't need any more of your instructions. One minute you want me at the cathedral, now you want me playing detective. Will you keepers make up your fucking minds? I oh. would not tell you this, Garrett. If it were not important, you must discover who has tried to kill Did you. That tried? You mean succeeded? Oh. Otherwise, you will not know how to act when the time comes. And what about your dusty old books, Caleb? What did they say about this latest requirement? Was this also foretold a thousand years ago? Or are you just improvising as you go along? Caleb? Caleb! Damn, you keepers. Well, okay. Quite a foul mouth there, Garrett. That was utterly shocking of you. Damn, you keepers. Okay, well, with about eight minutes on the clock, we continue on to, I guess, that grating over there as soon as these archers leave the square. Marching up and down the square? You'd rather be at the beach. There's our gate opener man. <coughs> and he's going the other way. Now that guy's root is broken. He won't ever come over here. Is that supposed to happen? Maybe these guys who are all up in my grill are supposed to open it for me. I forgot, however, I should probably go listen to this other combo. Here we go for this one. There we go. Right. Well, there's that finished. Well, there he comes the other way now. Jeez, great. Right. Now, the big one. One of the big ones. It's a conversation. Go ahead. Right. Now, these guys who are incredibly blind will make their exit. Again, there's only two of them. Shrug. Apparently, I accidentally saw some kind of a spoiler here. Yeah. There's this painting. You can unlock it. Just shove your lockpick right into that woman's... What? Or there's a switch. Uh, I don't know. Oh, fine. It's not here. That's weird. That means there's ungettable loot, except you can kind of get it th through the, the place. That's, I'm probably not even supposed to be reading this, but I guess I will. Councillor Frantitius, thy proposal for legal services is accepted. All documents regarding the poor workmanship of our security walls will be provided unto thee at a meeting of the deacons the 25th day of the Raven Moon at the 8 o'clock evening hour. Uh, <laughs> okay. A front 
gate key will be given unto thee, and Deacon Megat Free shall escort thee if thou desireth a guide. Rumours abound of insurrection, and therefore we must require of thee to make thy exit prior to the tenth hour, lest thou find thyself locked within our humble establishment, the main battlement doors being closed fast and unmovable at that hour. To facilitate additional meetings, thy front gate key may be kept as long as thou hast dealings with us. Phylaxis. Oh, really? Okay. Running out of time. Right. What's that door up there for? Some kind of secret? Oh. <laughs> I guess so. Well, well, well. Something to totally waste precious time that I don't... Uh-oh. Oh. oh that guy walking up on these. One. Two. And he's an archer. Well, there's another healing potion up here. I've already got quite enough, though. I don't know about that, man. Looks like I might be able to get up here from down there if I were to want to do that, but looks like this whole section isn't worth it, so... Alright. Time to get some more undead fighting equipment. It's amazing. Well, old man, I really wish I could say how sorry I am to see you go. But then I'd be joining all the other liars in this town. Wonder if me splatting him with holy water had some kind of effect. I don't know, it's probably me skipping a conversation that had an effect. The read me said that that wouldn't have any negative effect if I did that, but... <laughs> what does a read me know, eh? Am I right? This convo isn't starting up, though, for some reason. <laughs> oh well, here we go. We are right near the spot where I'm going to find the watch, and hopefully the event that is supposed to happen when the watch gets found will happen. And everything will be very interesting and actually quite uh, panicky. For real this time. The panic will be justified and stuff. I don't know. Well, there it counted me as finding the watch. I, haven't, I didn't even take it though, but okay. Well, here's this one. All right. Wait. Pick up the friggin' doll. Get even more. See, I'm not hearing any sounds of undead or fighting yet. I mean, how could this be? Sometimes this happens when scripts aren't installed, but seriously, there's tons of scripts running, right? The time? That's gotta be a script. There was that one zombie walking out from the door and then dying. That's gotta be a script, doesn't it? I mean, what? What? There's supposed to be a zompocalypse here. What? Okay. Where? Oh, so where? Where is it? What's? Where's the horrible deed that will deed? Look at this shit. Or is the commenter wrong? I mean, somebody said that that's why I got all the holy water. But nothing seems to be really happening ever. I don't really get it. Yeah. Relatively safe and sane street still. Just a few guards walking around. Uh, Who's there? Uh, yeah. Who are you? Who There's nothing there? here, Please, dude. Don't hurt me. I see him. Help, Is it because I'm an expert? Why the hell would it be because I'm an expert? I mean Things ought to be harder if I'm on expert, right? God damn it, now I'm gonna have to throw this entire video away because it's just repetition! Except it's got some new voices in it, so I won't, or something. Christ, who is right? Who is, who is, who is right? And if, if Mr. Commenter was right, then why the hell isn't this mission doing what it's supposed to? Am I missing something stupidly obvious that I, as a player, am supposed to do, or what? I mean... Ugh. Well, that's it for, for this video. Now on to something actually productive, I guess. Alright, I just read, I just read, on, I finally found on the forum what's supposed to happen here. It's not triggered by the watch or any event, it's triggered by the clock reaching 9.30. That's when the zombies come out. So, I could really just wait around for a few minutes and, uh, you know, not really do anything and just go up here, which I know to be totally empty. And just say, yep, 
all them zombies is so funny. They rise with no real warning or any sort of plot explanation or plexplanation given. Plex store drives or drives. They're not owned by some other company. It's pretty sad. Uh, and yeah, just kind of wait around. In fact, I could even just wait around in the town square if I could just get back there in time uh, without anybody alerting. I'm sure that sounds reasonably possible. So I guess I'll do that. I I do, however... I, I did intend to definitely play another, uh, you know, like a proper episode of this. So I'll probably do that because this is sort of short-ish. You are an idiot and are in my way, so out you go. There'll be plenty enough guards to be eaten by zombie flesh lovers in due time. All right, see you at the town square. You better turn down that way, dude. Oh, you're gonna catch a bad one now. Wait, there's... That guy's a zombie already. He's walking like a zombie. Okay, I guess it's just before 9.30, so 9.22 or something like that. So, that guy's gonna get in a hilarious fight, I guess. I don't know, I was expecting some climactic music to start playing or something. You know... Kind of, uh, maybe expecting a bit more zombie goodness here. I don't know, man. I thought I saw one of those guys who was a zombie walking over there. I mean, anyways, if I was mistaken, I should at least cease being mistaken in a fairly short amount of time. Oh, I just heard somebody screaming, die. That should signal the rise of a few zombies. That guy's not a zombie. I don't know what the deal is here. Well, there's really only one. One zombie. With the, you know, somebody said the town was going to be overrun with zombies. I don't exactly see a bunch of people overrunning any kind of thing. I mean, they're chasing me. That's, that's great. Okay, well, here's another one. I was just hoping this, this, this thing would be a little bit more entertaining. Or whatever. I, I guess one zombie is not exactly a fantastic thing there. How incredibly anticlimactic. I'll let you know if something interesting happens. Oh, well, there's an apparition. Haunt apparition thing. That's slightly more interesting, I guess. It's still only one, and this guy hasn't bothered to wise from his grave yet. Oh, you guys, fight your fallen undead brethren there. I shall watch from my little cubby hole as the fight ensues. It's going to be amazing. You're striking the air. You're not hitting him. I thought apparitions were supposed to be hittable. This... This is really a disappointing kind of a thing. I guess you all get the general idea. I'm going to leave it off here. See ya, see ya next time.